The new building has just been completed and is already too small? How can something like this happen? In the video we show this with a short story and also how area dimensioning helps us to do it better. Imagine the following situation. A new production site for your company is to be planned. The manager and the investor have developed concrete ideas for this. On this basis, an architect was hired and a new building was planned. There is a strong deadline pressure, so everyone is very happy that the construction has already been approved in the fast track procedure. Now you are called in. You are the layout planner in the company and your task is now to plan the factory layout for the new location. You get a bit of a stomachache when you see the building. You are not sure if the building has been designed big enough. You are now desperately trying to create the layout, but no matter what you do, you can't find a suitable solution, there is simply not enough space. The presentation date is approaching and you are getting more and more desperate. At the deadline you have to explain that the building is too small, everyone involved is of course very unhappy about it. Unfortunately, a common mistake in factory design is to start with the design of the building. But this is one of the last questions to be answered. A better approach is to first calculate the necessary areas and then create different layout variants. As far as possible, all the departments concerned should be involved. But how does it work? We start by determining the necessary operating resources by type and quantity. Based on the operating resources, we can calculate the necessary areas. Then we can arrange these areas in the equipment and create different layout variants. Only at this stage, and not earlier, do the requirements for the building emerge. As a result, the building is properly sized and adapted to the production process. This approach not only facilitates the preparation of the detailed layout and the work of the planners, but also leads to an overall better factory in which the employees feel comfortable and motivated to contribute to your success. The calculation of the necessary areas, also called area dimensioning, is an important planning step, because the requirements for the building are, among other things, largely defined by the areas. Therefore, we will explain to you in a few more videos how area dimensioning works. You can find the links to the videos and more information on this topic in the video description.